welcome to this video. I guess I should say hi YouTube because that's my usual intro. Um, I'm going to be making Toph Beifong's costume in this video and I, I had filmed an intro but I forgot. So the first thing I did is I started by tracing this pattern. Now this pattern I found at my local thrift store. Um, luckily mine are open. Uh, they do require masks, they have a certain number of people in the store, there's lots of restrictions. But I went, found this pattern, it was actually a set of four patterns, and it had an elastic waist pants and an elastic waist dress. So I thought if I took the top from the dress and the bottom of the pants, excuse me, the bottom of the pants, that I could put those together. And so I didn't want to cut up the pattern because everything was in pristine condition. So I used this paper to trace over, it's just some very skinny butcher paper that I happened to have on hand because I am a teacher and I have random stuff like that. So I traced the pattern, it was tricky also to figure out which pattern I should use because as you can see in the video, I'm pregnant, um, but come Halloween when I actually go to wear this, I will no longer be pregnant. So I was trying to um, adjust for belly size, but I also know that within three weeks of having given birth I'm not going to be back down to pre-pregnancy size, if ever. So I went with a larger pattern knowing that I could add an elastic waist, which is part of the pattern, and then also a drawstring which is not part of the pattern, but I do end up doing. So then I took my pieces and I cut them out of the paper that I had traced them on. Um, I was using random stuff for paperweights, an actual paperweight, and then I used a flower shaker. Then this fabric, it's not the exact shade of green I had hoped to find, but it was only like four dollars? Yeah, four dollars at the thrift store and I have it folded in half here so that I could cut out doubles of each piece in one go. Obviously the day changed there and this was the next day that I cut the piece out because it took much longer than I had anticipated to trace and pin. Um, I actually didn't have enough sal or I didn't have enough space on my initial um, Piecing it, so I used the salvage to create the last piece I needed for the pockets. Um, and then I was really confused here, so with the waistband because I didn't realize it was supposed to be on the fold. So I pinned that together where it should have been on the fold, but I hadn't cut it on the fold. Um, the next thing I did is I added the pleats into the pants, and then I went and got Fredwina, my dress form and started pinning the pieces onto her. So it's kind of occurring to me that I don't really know how all of the pieces go together. I'm kind of just guessing. Um, I need to look at the instructions again. But off camera, I was trying to figure out how the pockets possibly go on based on the picture and since I don't have both of the pocket pieces ready because I still need to stitch together those scraps so that I can cut out the last two parts of the pockets uh, for the inside I can't really continue very much more on the top of the pants and I think I need to sew those pocket pieces together before I sew them on anyways but I was playing with it, trying to figure out how to make it work, and um, this, is, this is kind of what I came up with. And then I think just the other piece goes on there, but I need to put the pockets together before I put them on the pants. Um, I really like how the pleats look in the front. And then, of course, the waistband will go on top. Which I also don't know how the front fly part works, because it's like cut like it's got a fly. So I need to 
do that. What I'm going to do now is take it off of Fredwina and stitch the leg parts together. I didn't want to, or not stitch, um, pin the leg parts together under the crotch area and down the inseam. Uh, I didn't want to do that while it was on her just because then it's really hard to get off her. So yeah, I'm going to read some instructions and try and figure this out so this part probably won't be on camera but hopefully when I come back it'll all be pinned together. So I haven't read the patterns yet for the figuring out the pockets and the fly but I did pin the legs together and the good news is it actually looks like pants. It looks really wide but it looks really wide but that's okay because it is elastic waist and I do have a bit of a belly right now and top wears really loose clothes so it's meant to be wide. I might taper it in a bit on the legs. I guess we'll just see. Um, if I do that it'll probably be after I sew the rest of it. And would just be alterations. Um, yeah. So it's looking good. Turns out there are no written instructions. So I just gotta figure this out. Um, I'm just gonna do what I think needs to be done. Um, I did figure out the fly situation. The fly part is actually for a different cut of the pants so I can just completely ignore it and sew a straight line which is great um yeah I'm gonna figure out the pockets figure out the waistband I don't have elastic so I won't be able to sew that part today but before I pull out the sewing machine I thought I could put together the rest of the top or yeah I could put together the top of the dress dress jumpsuit so yeah let's get to that part so now I started pinning the top of the of the jumpsuit together and I haven't done anything with linings before so I mess up a few times pinning the lining on um, it was right about this point that I realized and I flipped them the right way then I had to flip the collar part of the lining in as well. Okay, the only pieces I don't have pinned to the pattern are the sleeves, which I'm going to pin after I sew the rest of that. So I'm going to set them aside. And on the top, the other last piece is the tabs that go on the shoulders. Um, which, I mean, Toph doesn't have, but I do want to be able to wear this jumpsuit after Halloween as just a cute jumpsuit, so I am going to hopefully add those at some point. Uh, they do need interfacing on the inside. Then with the pants, like I said before, there's the waistband, which I pinned together right there but I actually need to stitch it because it was supposed to be on a fold and it just didn't fit on my fabric that way and then the inside part of the pocket which you saw me piece these parts together with pins this is scrap from the huge layout of stuff. There's two of them. Um, but I'm going to sew those parts together so I can add that. I'm going to take the pockets off of the pants part and sew the rest of it together right now except for this stuff. Then I'm going to sew these two parts together like the, or I should say four parts together, and cut them out, and finish off the pants part except for hemming it, and add the waistband minus the elastic right now. I'll figure out the elastic a little bit later. And then I'm going to sew together this, 
after that I should be able to just put the top on the bottom, sew it together. Um, yeah, that's the plan. This is the first video that I will have posted after my Baby Locks S unboxing, uh, which if you haven't seen it, go ahead and there will be a link in the description below. Anyways, um, as you could tell from the previous time lapse and everything, working on my Toph costume, and I got really excited about my new machine and totally just like started sewing and forgot to film. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I've finished the pants portion. Um, I haven't uh, sewn down the top over of the waistband because I do want to make this into a jumpsuit and connect the bodice and I will be filming me sewing the bodice which I haven't done any of that yet um, and then the other thing is I haven't hemmed the bottom yet because I still think I might taper it in a little bit and yeah but I have finished that I'm really proud of it the pockets are nice and big I'll be able to hold my phone in that um, yeah so that's the first project I've done on my new machine and I think it looks really good. The pattern worked out well and we'll see how it goes as I finish or as I start sewing the bodice parts and then when I connect it all together. I think the connecting it is going to be the hardest part because um, the patterns I was using, again, is for a an elastic waist dress or an elastic waist pants. And I took the bodice from the dress and the pants and I'm mushing those together. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I think it's looking good. I'm really proud of the pleats as well. I need to iron them down. I haven't been doing any ironing with this. I really should have been. But, um... The new machine is fantastic. Holy cow, completely changing how easy it is to sew for me. So, yeah, let's get going. All right, so I started sewing the top part together. I was just going along the seams where I had pinned it. And like before, I did not realize how to sew on the lining. So I do make some mistakes here and get the lining stuck. Can't flip it around. Uh, particularly here. So yeah, that happens. And yeah, now I'm about to realize it. Okay, so I'm learning. You're learning. We're all learning. I don't know. You might be an expert at this. But I messed up part of this. I was sewing on lining and I realized I sewed it on like this just across and I've now realized that it's in the seam and I can't flip it to the inside so I need to undo the seams where my lining is so time to pull out the trusty old seam ripper Alright, so I seam ripped the middle part out and then I also realized that it was stuck in the sleeves. Or I think I kept sewing and then got it stuck in the sleeves so I had to seam rip again. Yeah, right there. Um, one thing I do like about sewing and learning and doing new projects is the learning process. Um, it is frustrating to make mistakes but I think it makes it more satisfying when you get it. So yeah, I tried on the best part there and then I sewed the sleeve ends together, then I just pinned it to the inside to take off the fr front part of the sewing machine so I can reach the sleeves around easier. And I pinned on the other side of the sleeve, sewed that around. I did add some little ruffles. Alright, there's the top part. Again, I haven't hemmed the sleeves yet. Uh, just like I haven't hemmed the legs on the pants part, but now I can get to connecting these into a jumpsuit for being Toph Bayfall. 
then I just will have to make the yellow part and the accessories. This is going really well. The new machine runs so smoothly. Um, I do need to iron parts of this down. I'll probably do that another time. Uh, yeah. Okay, so right here I decided to add some buttonholes so I could run a drawstring through. I needed to change the bobbin and spool because that spool didn't work. Um, and the first one I made I wasn't very happy with so I took it out immediately. And then I went back to work and made two more buttonholes which went a lot faster and worked well. Okay, so I got this much done. Uh, the legs are pretty wide for my legs, but I did need to use a large pattern to get it over my baby bump. Um, here, let me set this back in the stand. So as you saw, it's like that. And now I can earthbend. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so what I ended up doing is I took the top off of the pants and put the drawstring in first. It is an elastic waist, but because I am going to end up smaller than I am right now after I give birth, I thought I would put a drawstring in there so that there was more give. Uh, the elastic helped, but it doesn't do everything. It does get really big in the back here. And I'm not sure what to do about that, but I'm okay with it. Um, right now I have it tied kind of above my bump, but it can, it, it, it does sit lower naturally if this is loose. Um, and then so this top part, this top fold I sewed all the way around to about right here and so the part that's going inward this panel uh, can fold out and that allows me to get in and out because obviously my body is not going to fit through this little hole here um, but yeah so now what I'm going to do is the hems for the sleeves and I'm gonna bring the legs in a little bit um, I'm gonna do that on the inside of the legs just because the pockets are connected on the sides and I don't want to mess those up because they're really working already um, and then I'm gonna hem up the hem up the bottoms and then get started on the yellow tabard thing that top wears. Then after that I still need to make her wristbands, her ankle bands, and her headband. Lots of bands. Um, which I will be making out of scrap and some pom-poms and a regular headband with some foam and fabric on it so yeah let's get to that one eternity later all right 
So I didn't film sewing the last parts because I just wasn't feeling great due to pregnancy and really didn't want to film. But I have finished the Toph costume. I will be showing it to you now. So I did this headband, got the pom-poms on there. I got the wristbands and the belt and the ankle band things. So yeah, that's my top costume. Now I feel like I'm ready to earth bend the crap out of everything. Hi, this is Editing Eileen, and I wanted to explain how I made the parts of the costume that you didn't see me make. So, for the headband, I took a regular headband and I used some craft foam, and I actually stitched it onto the headband because it's plastic with cloth on it originally. Um, and then I used that as a base to put on extra green cloth from the scraps left over from making the jumpsuit and I just hand stitched all of that until it stayed and then I added a little rectangle of yellow I know she does have that like kinda pattern on hers but I couldn't get that to work so I gave up on that then I used the rest of the scrap of the green to make the wristbands and the ankle bands I added some leather from a previous costume and then some yellow fabric that I got extra from the tabard part that I was making. For the studs, I actually just used little fasteners, you know the ones that you use in elementary school. And I used my awl to poke through the leather, leather and make holes. Um, and actually it is those fasteners that are holding the belt closed, which means it will be adjustable. And yeah, then I just added uh, hook and eye uh, closings to keep the um, ankle and wristbands closed. Other than that, the yellow tabard is basically just a rectangle with a hole in it. And then I hemmed around all the loose ends. So yeah, that's how I made these parts of the costume. Uh, again, I just wasn't feeling well enough to film it because sometimes that's how life goes. Anyways, back to normal me. So now I'm feeling pretty good about this. And yeah. Anyways, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this or about creativity, uh, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. I try to upload once a week. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.